Hi guys, I hope everyone is having a great week so far. So on this video, I'm going to be showing you like how I evolved my strategy and then how I'm trading currently. So this is the trade that we took like on uh, on gold. We took the trade somewhere around here. Our first TP was around here, second TP around this area and the third TP was around here. So we hit like the first TP, we are waiting for the second and third TP. So basically uh, how I was previously trading, uh, it was like this. I'd start like on the daily chart. I still start on the daily chart even now. I still do my top down analysis. I still zoom out my charts. And then let me start like on the highest time frame so that I can show you uh, how I go about analyzing everything now. So first thing I'll start like on the highest time frame, maybe switch to line chart and then just look at like a high value area of which is this one here. And the same scenario guys, people are caught in the wrong side around this area of which is mass psychology. So I still use that. And then let me just remove this. And then I'd have like my highest high around here. And let me just move that back. And the reason why I use like that uh, line chart is just to see like where the market reversed and all of that stuff. Just because when you have like something of this nature or you have like a candlestick chart, you won't see like those uh, high value areas like this. And then let me just switch back and then to the daily. Then going to the daily, that is where you'll find me drawing out like maybe a descending channel around this area here saying that the descending channel is a reversal pattern to the upside then i'd have something of this nature then i'd have like the 90 percent rule plotted around here knowing that this is my first target to complete like this overall descending channel around here then i'd switch to the four hour just to look for momentum just look at how like the market is moving currently and then let me just fix this here like this okay and then what i'd be waiting for is for a uh, breakout and then maybe some type of a retest in a form of a tight flag or a larger flag for me to get like an entry so moving to the hour chart that's where maybe i'll find like some type of an entry so now what i do is that i focus too much like on all the patterns on all the patterns just because i know how the patterns uh tend to work out and then you have like a pattern within a pattern so having a pattern within a pattern and then you'd see that we also have like an inverse head and shoulders around this area here and then this is a form of a right shoulder trying to retest then you look for bias around there so this is how i'd be analyzing and then you'd have like a value area around here like that so previously i was analyzing like this and then i'd be waiting for an entry around this area here so everything is different now but i didn't change anything just because uh what i do now is that i focus on all of the information that is given to me with price action and then uh, i'll do it like this and then have your highest high around here then switch to the daily and then on the daily chart what i do is that i draw the whole structure draw the whole structure knowing that uh, the market can just come back to this area here and then drop back to the downside just because this is a trend to the downside we have higher lows and then we have lower lows at the bottom so this is a trend to the downside up until we break this higher low here and then after breaking the higher low now we have changed direction and then we look for bias to the upside so we're still looking for bias up until this area here we'll see what how the market uh, reacts around this area here so that's how i basically trade uh, on the higher time frames and then on the four hour On the four hour chart that's where you'll find me uh, looking at this pattern around here focusing on this mini break of this descending channel here like i said guys uh when the market is 
in a descending channel let me show you something when the market is in a descending channel or a trend to the downside what you'll find is that you'll find corrective moves to the up upside as an ascending channel like this and then to the downside you'll get like impulses and you get corrective moves to the upside and then you get an impulse to the downside but sometimes you'll get like a corrective move to the downside and then you look for buys up to this area here so that is what i'm looking at at this moment in time and then let me just remove all of those things and then you'll find that i have like a value area here then this value area is on the four hour chart and then if you switch to line chart you'll see that this is an important area here the market is respecting like this area here and then you'll see that this is an inverse head and shoulders around here you look for bias at this point so let me just remove those and then on the hour chart let me change to line chart so that is where we took like our trade and then i was looking at this area here that's my first tp second tp here and then the yeah i think yeah it's my second tp around here i don't know i don't know where i put like my third tp but that's where uh we took like the entry and then you can see that we have like some type of a descending channel here it's not a tight flag it's a descending channel a smaller version of a descending channel in this area here and then we took our buys on the break here first tp second tp stop loss just below here then yeah guys that's how i trade for now that's how i trade for now let me see if i left anything out and then another thing that i'd put on my on my uh, analysis is this trend here this trend line here as a guide knowing that the market can just drop around here give me a descending channel then we continue to the upside so yeah that's how i basically trade guys for now same thing applies on this uh, Nasdaq trade, guys. So uh, I was looking at this descending, overall descending channel. This one here. And then we have like this one pattern within a pattern. Knowing that uh, Nasdaq can go to the upside, reach this area, break, come back, retest, and then continue to the upside. So from here, then you'll know if the Nasdaq market will go to the upside, reach this 90% rule or go back to the downside give us like a triple bottom before going back to the upside so on this one as we switch like to the lower time frames oh and then those markups here are support and resistant value areas guys so as you switch to line chart you'll see that we have like value areas around here around here around here we are respecting in many levels so let me switch back to and then on the hour chart that's where you'll see that uh, the market is responding to everything that we are doing currently. So we have this <clears throat> descending channel within a descending channel. So this is a break retest here, and then we have the break again, and then we have the retest, and then we got the continuation of which the trade we took in the VIP group. And then switching to the M15, that's where you'll see that we have like this. Uh, area here the market is very very much respecting this area here as you can see we got the break and then we got the retest here and then the market shot to the upside so let me just put that in a line chart you see that we are respecting here we are respecting here then we can come back and respect the same area and then shoot back to the upside so uh and then putting your charts in in a line chart then you'll see that uh though that week is gone just because if it's a full candle, you'll see that uh, the line chart will come around here and then push back to the upside. But if you have wicks, the market won't uh, show you those wicks just because wicks are just uh, traps in the market. So yeah, as you can see here, we have the wick and then we have the push to the upside. So yeah, that's basically how I trade, guys. And then I'll see you on another video. Then you can drop like any topic you want me to like do a video on just because i'm running out of ideas guys i'm running out of ideas